Interesting. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to explain the release schedule for this week. Interesting. <laughs> Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And the ladies have actually been kicking off the show for the last couple of weeks. But this week, we're going to switch that up just a little bit with the LBGTQ community with Nike's Be True collection. The collection includes the Epic React as well as the Zoom Fly, which were created or inspired by the LGBTQ community. Both pairs, the Epic React and the Zoom Fly, will cost you $150. Jumping ahead to Thursday, we have a ton of different Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 2s dropping. There are three colorways for men and there are a couple colorways for women as well. There's even this really cool like mock version that's going to be just for the ladies. Either way, if you want to grab some of these, a couple of them will be available over at Finish Line and you can grab those for $190. Keeping with the Air Max vibe, the Air Max 270 will be releasing in a habanero red colorway. This red is actually really bright and you can grab those for $150. Now, if you're into the whole collaboration things when it comes to your Air Max sneakers, there's a collaboration with Kim Jones dropping on the Air Max 360. The pairs were releasing in both black and white colorways, and they are a mix of different Air Max shoes and some soccer boots. You can look for those to cost you $200. And to finish out the whole Air Max vibe, there is a version of the Innova and the Vapor Max dropping called the Innova Vapor Max. These are the priciest of the Vapor Max hybrids that I've seen so far, so those will cost you $240. But on the bright side, these do look really dope in that Dreamweaver colorway. Basketball has been and always will be my favorite sport and it looks like Nike is continuing their 16 collection with the KD4 in the battle tested colorway. These are gonna cost you $140 and they are inspired by one of KD's performances in the Western Conference Finals when he scored 34 points and had 14 rebounds to help propel him to his first finals appearance ever. I personally feel like the KD4 was one of the best of KD's signature shoes, but you know, maybe that's just me. All right, jumping ahead to Friday, Jordan Brand is showing the ladies some love with a particle beige colorway of the Air Jordan 3. Jordan Band has been showing the ladies a lot of love and this trend is going to continue and those will cost you $180 over at Finish Line. Puma is getting back in the game and they have a little something lined up with their Sugi Avid. This is dropping in an Oreo and a black colorway and these are priced right under $100 at $95. If you're into the Quick Strike sneakers, it looks like Nike will be dropping a special version of the Air Hirachi 1. The colorway is officially neon yellow and those will cost you $130 again over at Finish line. One of the more unexpected sneakers that's actually dropping this week is the Nike Flyknit Trainer. Not that it's unexpected that the shoe is dropping. I just didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. As you see, the design is technically called Velvet Brown, but I really like what they did to the Nike swoosh on this pair. If you're interested in this pair as much as I am, you can grab them on Friday and they'll cost you $150. Okay, now Adidas actually has a couple releases up their sleeve this week as well that you definitely want to pay attention to. And the first one is the Addy Zero Prime Knit Limited. These are one of the more exclusive releases from the brand when it comes to running shoes, and you can grab those in that blue spirit colorway for $200. Also releasing in a limited fashion is the Adidas Ultra Boost Parley in a limited edition colorway as well. The philosophy behind the Parley collection is really dope, and I'm glad to see more of these models are actually getting into the public. You'll be able to grab these in that footwear white colorway, and they'll be available over at Finish Line. And again, they'll cost you just $200. Bucks. The hybrid sneaker thing is kind of coming back. It was a big thing a few years ago, but it looks like it's coming back, but Nike is being a little more subtle with it. This week, they're gonna have the Air Max 1, Air Max 90 hybrid shoe. It's called the Air Max 90 slash one. I really like the way this one looks, and it looks like Nike didn't actually skimp on the materials, and they're actually using leather on the upper, which actually looks really, really nice. If you wanna grab those, they're gonna cost you $140. Now, if you're looking just for a straight basketball shoe, no need to worry because Nike basketball has you covered with the Nike PG2, our Paul George's second signature shoe. This colorway is mostly black, but it does have some really cool pops of color over it that I really like. And again, at $110, this is probably the best basketball sneaker you're going to get for that amount of money. Anyway, you can grab these when they drop over at Finish Line. Okay, when it comes to big releases for this week, everything is basically on Saturday and it's spread out pretty evenly. So let's start with Adidas. If you are a fan of Yeezy and the Yeezy 500 specifically, it's gonna be dropping in the Super Moon Yellow colorway. Pricing for this dad shoe is gonna cost you $200 per the usual. These are not going to be readily available, so they'll probably be pretty hard to get, so make sure you're on top of it if you really want a pair. 
Keeping with the exclusive or the very limited sneakers that are supposed to be dropping this weekend is the Air Jordan 1 UNC Off-White collaboration. Now, this one has a few changes to the model that I think actually make the shoe better, but if you do want a pair, gotta stay on top of it because these are going to be definitely hard to get and those will cost you $190. If you do want something that is a little more in the general release category, then the Air Jordan 32 Low is dropping in the last shot colorway. The matching Air Jordan 14 is actually releasing next week, but if you want to get a jump on things, you can grab this 32 for 160 over at finish line. And since we're talking about Jordan brand, they have something I believe that's gonna be pretty limited coming up this weekend. It's the Air Jordan 2 Mellow or Air Jordan 2 Denver, depending on how you look at the shoe. The shoe is inspired by Carmelo Anthony's time in Denver, and they're gonna be over at finish line. I really like the look of the Jordan 2. I think it's a really slept on shoe. And if you wanna grab a pair of those on Saturday, they're gonna cost you $190 over at finish line. All right, that's gonna do it for the show today. As always, I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys stuff that you would definitely care about. Uh, if you haven't already, check down in the description for links to all of the shoes that I talked about in the video today. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.